Hey, it's Jennifer Pace. Um, I'm probably just going to do my best to talk us through the data as if we were uh, sitting at a meeting table. First, I want to apologize for how tired I look because I am recovering from surgery and I'm not living my best life right now, but it's okay because I can still read information about this child. Um, we are discussing Jaden Harper. I think the first thing that threw me off was that it says that he's eight and he's in the second grade. Only when you go further into the reading, page three says that he is in kindergarten and the ESI-K data is kindergarten data. So I'm going to assume that this is the end of his kindergarten year because the question says it is the end of Jaden's kindergarten year. Um, and what would you recommend for him um, as far as whether or not he continues to receive tier one instruction for the first grade or moves to a tier two? Well, considering that I do have the information from kindergarten, in the fall, his score was a 28 and the at-risk cutoff was a 21. So he's above the margin. Um, not too much, but he is above it. And then his winter score was 35 and the cutoff was 32. So we're closing the gap there a little bit. He's getting close to the cutoff score. And I'm, I also need to add that I teach reading remediation and I have taught early language learners K through four special education and I've taught at the high school level. Right now I'm teaching sixth through eighth grade reading remediation. So I look at scores quite a bit from standardized tests. And I also want to add that these test scores do not always give you a clear picture or indication of what the child's capable of, first of all. So I want to add that I've not seen Jaden in his classroom setting. I haven't observed him. I also don't see any information on maybe an observation on his teacher because I feel like you need that sometimes for a child coming out of kindergarten. Children all learn differently depending on the teacher, the teacher's style. Um, I know this just from working with special ed students that sometimes they cannot be doing well in one teacher's class and I observe them in another classroom and they're, they seem to be thriving and they seem to be okay. So without knowing too much about his classroom teacher, um, I guess I'm just making an assumption or a guesstimation based on this one set of data. It says that he's been in, a, in progress monitoring. So he's been in tier one. I don't have that information. I don't know how he's done on progress monitoring because they did not put that here. So my first instinct if I were sitting at a table in an RTI meeting is to say, well, I'd like to see a little bit more information on Jaden, but if I only have this one set of scores to follow, his fall score, his winter score, and his spring, um, he has grown. He's gone from a 28 to a 35 to a 45, and that last jump was 10 more points than his first. The gap between his winter score and his spring score were about the same. I mean, he's four points above average. But like I said, I don't think I would be ready to put him in a tier two coming into first grade. Um, children may mature. This could just be a lack of maturity or a, a delay. He's in kindergarten. And... I also don't have the scores from the rest of his classmates. That would be something else that I would like to see. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but if I'm going to make a blanket statement about a child, this little boy, Jaden, whom I've never met, I've never interacted with him, I've never seen him in his regular classroom setting, um, and I also really am not sure of the personality or the type of instruction that he got, um, because all kindergarten teachers are different, I don't think I would want to move him to a tier two until pro until I got more information maybe on his fall score 
in the first grade. Um, I, I don't feel I, I would don't think I would feel comfortable with that. The only reason to maybe put him in tier two is because it says in the introduction that his parents are both concerned about Jaden's academic achievement. I would want to pull them into a meeting and say, what is it exactly that you're concerned with? Because sometimes the way a child learns at school is different than at home. It says that Spanish is spoken in his home. So perhaps his parents aren't totally fluent in English or maybe they didn't go to school learning English and he is. So as a kindergartner, he might be doing the best he can to communicate with parents who speak both languages. I also don't know if their English is limited. It just says that Spanish and English are spoken in his home. Um, I don't know, just, I'm currently on an RTI committee at our school and the students, even the students who are not in remediation, um, get moved to me or our math remediation teacher and we observe them in the general setting. And even though I'm not working in special ed, I have that radar, I don't know what else to call it, from having taught special education. And I, I just wouldn't, this is just my opinion based on his scores, I wouldn't feel comfortable moving him to tier two right now. I believe I would want to get fall data with him coming into first grade. I would like information to compare him to his peers in that classroom. I would also need to observe him in that setting and see if maybe it's just a learning style conflict. Sometimes that's what it can be for kindergartners. So right now, no. I know that was probably a little bit wordy, but if we are on a team and we're discussing this student, in order to move a child into tier two, I'm going to want to see them right at the cutoff or falling a little bit below the cutoff. And Jaden is above it. I think we're really quick. Um, well, not me because I've not worked in the general education setting, but if a child maintains average or what the teacher seems to think might be a C student, that doesn't necessarily mean that that child's not performing their best or doing their best. I don't see any notes on his behavior or if his behavior is ca causing him to fall, you know, anywhere below the norm. But right now, his scores are above what is expected. So, no, long story short, I wouldn't move him to tier two until I got some more information. And that's all. Thank you.